What up guys, Eric here from Racing Ram Fam. Today we're going to be going over these two guys, a 090 and the 836 aka the Viper Filter. So what we're going to do today is we're going to take a look at both these filters, compare them in every which way and form that I could possibly think of besides pressure testing because I don't have the tools or equipment to do that, but we will be cutting these open and even taking a look at the guts. Alright, so we have the 090 filter over here and then we have our Viper filter right over here. Uh, first thing we notice, nothing, they look identical. They just look like two different packages but same cardboard box. So we're going to take open the 090, see what it's all about. Opening it up, you see the filter. Taking a look at it here, um, looks like a filter. All right, so we're gonna set that to the side. All right, so now we're gonna open up this Viper filter. And I know for a fact that these come in a packaging. So these come in a plastic wrap packaging to keep all contaminants out of the filter. And then when we take this off, we also have another cap on top of that to keep stuff out of the filters. And as an engine builder, I know our biggest one fear is, is keep contaminants out of this, these motors. And this 090, as I can see right now, there's a piece of dust in here, which I, I just, I don't know how I feel about that. So let's take this cap off, let's set these boxes to the side. Alright, side by side, they're the same exact overall diameter. Filters are the same exact length and height, the weight's about the same as I can just tell by my hands. The Viper filter does feel like a way thicker f filter in my hand as the 090 kind of collapsed with my finger pressure on it. Alright, so we're going to use our oil filter cutter here to cut these babies apart. Uh, I think we should start off using the 090 and then we'll cut the Viper filter apart next. So we'll get this down. Viper filter split apart compared to the 090. Alright guys, we have both filters cut apart and laid out here. On the right we have the 836 Viper filter and on the left here we have the 090 black filter. So let's take a look at these casings first of all. As you guys can see from just this camera view that the 836 Viper filter is a lot thicker than the 090 filter. I have my digital caliper right here so we can actually take a nice measurement to see what the actual thickness is which we're seeing about 28 thousandths of an inch thick for the Viper filter and then on this black 090 we are at about 15 thousandths of an inch thick so we are about 10 thousandths of an inch thicker on the Viper filter compared to the 090 so going a little right here we have both the filter elements again don't don't look at these. I was trying to cut these filters apart to take a better look at the bypass valves that are in these. So let's put these side by side. As you guys can see right away, just spinning these, just how much more surface area by all these folds the Viper filter has compared to the 090 filter. And then both these filters are a paper filter and then how they're held together. On the 090, we are glued together. And then on the Viper filter, we have a crimp fitting holding them together. Then we look at the bypass valves on these two. On the Viper filter, we have it down there. And then on the 090, we have it around the top. Which, what I think, personally, is high pressure oil comes in from the top and it goes around and goes through the filter and it comes out the center here. With the bypass valve, where the 090 is, right here, the first thing it's gonna do is hit this. And if it doesn't go in there, it's gonna go to the paper. Unlike on the Viper one, which I really like, which high pressure oil comes in here, and then it has to work its way all the way past the paper filter down to the bypass valve down here, and then come out. And what the bypass valve does, guys, is when you have so much oil pressure, 
high oil pressure or your oil's too thick and it can't go past this paper filter it just it's not enough demand to go past this oil this paper filter the oil it is going to go through the bypass valve and go straight into your engine which only happens on really cold mornings or is if these filters are too plugged up because of debris just filling all the cracks in these so i really like this viper filter due to the placement of that bypass valve because I'm not an engineer, but just my thoughts in general is if you have, let's just say, because on these Viper motors I know it's about 75 to 100 PSI of oil pressure, you have 100 PSI of oil pressure beaming down on all these little holes right here and on the spring. And as if that oil pressure is overcoming the spring pressure before it goes through the filter, you're going to get unfiltered oil straight into your engine and go into your bearings. Unlike the Viper filter, which it has to actually go past the filter. You get what I'm saying? This one can go straight in instead of going through the filter. It actually has to physically go past the filter before we get to the bypass valve. Which, this might be a stronger spring for the bypass valve too, compared to that spring right there. And we have only one little hole compared to about eight holes on the 090. Taking a look at the oil drain back valves, they look pretty similar. The only thing is, is on the 090, this white is actually, it's dirty, you can wipe it off compared to the Viper filter, which is probably because when you get a 090 filter, we don't, it's just in a cardboard box like, like this one. You don't have any wrapping over it. Unlike the Viper filter, we have this lid that is on top of the whole filter, and then it is in this paper plastic bag. So then let's take a look at the lids. The lids are pretty much exactly the same, just a little bit different styling. We have six holes here where oil enters, and then on the 090, we have eight holes where the oil enters. The inlet sizes of the holes are the same just due to thread pitch size. And then we come over here to look at the springs that hold up these filter elements for these oil drain back valves. Um, on the 090 we have a sheet metal spring and then on the Viper filter we have an actual spring. And the only reason difference I think that is is because of the location of the drain back valve on them is on the Viper filter, it's on the bottom, so we need better oil flow to it. So if we had this big thing sitting down here, you wouldn't really have, you'd only have this area and this area to have oil come by. And then if you have this little spring, you have all the way around it, and just the physical size of it, you have little skinny coils compared to big giant flat spots on them. So that, I really, these two things right here, I really, or these three things right here, I really don't think is a big difference. But, what I think is the selling point to me on these Viper filters is first the case thickness, the location of the bypass valve, and then them being crimped together instead of being glued together. Instead of being glued together. Other than that, I think they are both really good oil filters. I just think those two things are what sell me on these on these oil filters is you have the bypass valve being on the bottom of the filter and then the case thickness of that Viper filter. Oh, and how they're packaged. You have that lid on it and you have that plastic wrap over them so you can't get any debris in there. Especially these Viper motors, you really wanna keep all the debris out of these motors because as you guys could see if you watch my uh, forge engine problems is there was a lot of debris from my other short block I got and it swept out the bearings due to contaminations in the engine block but if you guys want to go pick up one of these white viper filters go check out my guy Andy at parts online network and with promo code racing ram fam you guys can get 10% off one of these oil filters from him which is a really good deal so guys I hope you like this video if you did give me a like uh, think about subscribing if you guys want to see more coming from me which this winter I am planning on doing a water meth install rebuilding the rear LSD, limited slip differential, replacing those clutch blacks and those spider gears. And then third but not least, I'm gonna be putting a tile blow off valve on this guy. And there'll probably be some other stuff I'm gonna do because there's a lot of more buttoning up I have to do on this before we go drag racing. And hopefully we run a good time. Uh, check out any of my other videos if you want. But as always guys, keep it boosting. We'll see you in the next video.